So there are four types of loan, balloon payment loan, interest only loan, constant amortization loan, and constant payment loan, which is the most common one. I explained the, uh, the first three types in previous videos. And in this video, I'm going to explain the constant payment loan. So in the constant payment loan, the payments that are paid per period are constant. Uh, so let's work on example and uh, see how we can calculate uh, how we can do the calculations for the constant payment loan. Let's assume an investor takes a loan of a thousand dollars and the interest rate is uh, eight percent and the, the loan has to be re repaid over four uh, years and we consider constant payment loan. So the first step is to uh, calculate equal uh, annual payments A and we can use factor A over P or capital recovery factor uh, for calculating these payments and this is the equation uh, I is the interest rate and N is the, uh, the, the number of years period that the, uh, the loan has to be repaid and uh, P is the loan so uh, $1,000 might multiply uh, this uh, equation, which gives us about $302 per year uh, for uh, this loan. So the payments are going to be equal uh, $302 per year. Then we need to calculate the interest and principal portion of these uh, payment uh, of $302 for each year. The interest is the balance multiply the interest rate, which uh, was uh, $1,000 multiply 8%, which gives us $80 uh, of interest for year one. Uh, for calculating the balance, we have to deduct the interest from the payment. And we are going to uh, have uh, $302 minus 80, uh, which comes to uh, almost uh, $222. After this payment is paid, the balance is going to be the, the balance of previous year, which was $1,000 minus the, uh, the principal portion of the payment which is $222 and the remaining is uh, the remaining balance, which is uh, $778. For year two, uh, payment is constant, is what we calculated. The interest uh, is uh, the remaining balance, which was uh, $778 multiply uh, the interest rate, uh, which is going to be $62.25. Uh, for the principal, we uh, deduct the interest from the payment and the remaining is going to be the principal at year two. So the remaining balance is the, the balance of the previous year, uh, 778 minus the principal portion of the payment, which was uh, 339.68. And this is the balance at year two when we pay these uh, $302. Uh, for year three, the payment is uh, constant, similar to year one and year two. The interest is the remaining balance, uh, which is 538.41. The remaining balance that we have here, multiply the interest rate and it is going to give us $43.07 point uh, zero seven, uh, and this is the interest portion of this payment. The remaining is the principal portion so uh, we deduct the interest uh, from the payment and uh, the remaining is going to be the principal portion of this payment. In order to calculate the remaining balance we deduct the principal uh, from the uh, balance of the previous year, which was here. So the balance of previous year minus the uh, principal that we paid this year gives us the remaining balance. 
For year four, payment is constant. The interest is the remaining balance multiply interest rate uh, of 8%, which is going to be 22.36. And uh, a balance is, uh, the, the principal is going to be uh, the, the, uh, the payment minus the uh, interest. Uh, the remaining is 20, 279.56 and if we calculate everything correctly this number uh, this principle for the last year should be exactly same as the remaining which means that we are going to have zero balance at year four after we pay the payments so we can summarize these loan calculations as uh, so a loan is uh, taken at uh, the eight percent a loan of a thousand dollars is taken at uh, 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 with eight percent at present time and the payments of uh, almost three uh, three hundred two dollars is paid to repay the loan uh, from year one to year four